Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your man Eze, and in today's episode, we're gonna dive into this video that I saw today. Uh, it's been going around, and it's about this brother. He's going viral, talking about black women are tired. How black women need rest. I don't know the brother's name, nor do I care to know his name. It reminds me of Derek Jackson, and we all remember him and what he was about. And before I respond, I'm gonna play this clip. And before we dive in and start breaking it down, I need your help. Uh, some of you guys know my YouTube channel is new. I started it 30 days ago, and I'm trying to grow it. Take a second to subscribe, because I need that help. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so please, Help me by sharing this video, by liking, and also by commenting, okay? And now, without any further delay, let's go. Look, check this out. Black women are tired. They're tired of being independent. They're tired of being looked at as the strongest. They're tired of having to take care of the kids by themselves. They're tired of bearing all the weight. Don't believe the hype that you see on all of these social media networks. Black women are tired. And the reason why I know this is because I talk and have conversations with a lot of black women. But what a black woman really want, she want to be able to go to the soccer games. She want to not have to be the sole leader and sole provider of her family. She want to support the man who God gave her to be with. She want to be a help me. The thing is, she's been placed in this position where she's had to lead. She's had to step up to the plate and become something that she really didn't want to be in the first place. She want to support her man. She want to nurture her kids. She want to nurture her husband while pursuing things that she's passionate about. That's it. It's that simple. The thing is, she just can't find a suitable leader that she trusts to come in and relieve her of these responsibilities so that she can finally get some rest because that's what she wants. Rest. What should I say? You heard that rhetoric. I call it rhetoric because he's not being genuine. He's not being genuine in the sense of somehow he managed to say, well, to blame black men. Somehow it's black man's fault. It's very dangerous telling women, you know, what he feels they want to hear to gain popularity. That is very dangerous. Here's the honest God truth. And here are the facts. A lot of sisters pick the wrong men. And I know you guys seen or heard a lot of times when, when women say, oh, uh, he's too nice, that guy's too nice, you know, uh, but they go date the bad boy. They go date the pookies and the ray rays. These are decisions made by black women, not black men, black women. They have a dude that we treat them right, that's going to school, that's trying to get education to you know to be a good man to be productive in society what would a, what would a black woman do he's lame he ain't got no game he's whack i, I don't feel his energy but who are they feeling they're feeling the the pookies the ray rays the guys with the six pack the guys that's that's knocking down every female in the neighborhood those are the guys they want and then when they date the brother get knocked up the dude leaves. Now all of a sudden, uh, black man, black men are trash. Black men is uh, 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 at this. Black men ain't this. Black men are that. But why? Why are you judging a black man based on a decision you made? Nobody put a gun in your head to go date him. You know. Let's take Sierra for instance. She knew Future had multiple baby mamas. She knew this. What did she do? She still went ahead and dated Future and got pregnant by Future. She didn't marry him. She didn't marry him. She got pregnant by Future. But now everybody's blaming Future. What about Sierra? What about her? What about her decision? Okay? That's what nobody's talking about. Everybody's always blaming, everybody always blaming black men. But no one is looking at the uh, uh, no one is looking at the black woman with her decision in picking 
man. And this is why a lot of people were upset with Kevin Samuels. Black women, stop giving men babies without marriage. If you know this dude is not good, why pick him? Why give him a baby? Then later on, when I complain and blame men, and when I talk about you tired, when I talk about you frustrated, then quit making the wrong decision. Quit picking the wrong man. This is the reason why black women are in the position that they are in. It's all based on their decisions. The decisions, the decisions that they made coupled with welfare, coupled with picking the pookies and the ray rays, mixed them with the imagery of black men to where they don't respect black men. These are all the reason why black women are in the position that they put themselves in. Those are the facts. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I just thought I'd share this with you guys and see and, and, and get your opinion. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.